Right, welcome back to the channel. We stood here with the MR2. I've got my new safety glasses on. So first of all, I want to point these out because right the way through the videos, there's been some pretty hairy grinding and whatnot in there. Jonathan's not too great with his health and safety. There's no one here to tell him what to do. So he does what he wants, but there's a lot of sparks flying. And cause I'm filming a lot of what Jonathan's doing when he's grinding and that there's flying at me and I'm trying to film it. So I've got myself some prescription safety glasses. The way these work, they're very focal. I've got magnified vision on the bottom, so it's like reading plus, so I can see things really bigger. And then my normal reading and my mid-range, so I can see everything around us and my eyes are protected. So, cause whenever I was putting goggles on, I, I couldn't couldn't see anything, it was awful. Today we've got Simon with us. Simon's helping out with the, the strip down of the, the MR2. In case you don't know what's going on with it, I'm gonna I'll have to explain. The Datsun is obviously taking quite a lot of time and there's a lot of work to do in it. I've explained in a previous episode, the RS came up and you know, I was just like, I, I want it, you know, so I bought it. And I wasn't gonna start it um, until the Datsun was done. But I got to thinking the Datsun's gonna be months away from being finished yet. So it'd be really nice if we could just get on with the, the the RS as well so that means full strip down of the MR2 all the body panels are coming off and then the RS panels that are over here are going on so it's basically a reskin job we don't have to do that much to the car there's no mechanical work there's no plumbing work there's no electrical work it's just a case of reskinning the car so while I'm doing that I can be doing that while Jonathan's doing the Datsun so hey why not do two builds at the same time you know like yeah, Jonathan says, no, don't do two at the same time. I says, no, yeah, 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 let's do two at the same time. So anyway, we're doing two at the same time. So all these panels here, there's a lot of work to do on them. When if you look at stuff like this, if you have a close up of this corner, you see the, the way there's a dint in there and then there's a ridge in there. This is just how it all came out of the mold. It's, there's a lot of reshaping to do that's wonky right across there so that needs reshaped so there's a lot of work to do with the actual kit itself but first we've got to get it on the car and to get it on the car we've got to get all the panels off and then we're going to sit these panels onto the car and there's no brackets there's no instructions there's no like do this first and do that next and and then you get that there isn't any of that we've got to work all this out and we've got to make all the brackets ourselves we've got to make the hinges that this whole part is going to lift up um we've got to make all the hinges for the bonnet ourselves so there is quite a bit of work to do to it but just not as much as the datsun so if we do this i'll be able to get this finished in a few weeks and I can be driving about in this and coming to the garage while uh, while I'm working on the Datsun. So that's the plan today. I'm going to strip the MR2 down and get these panels onto the onto the MR2. Keep watching. So what he's doing there, he's uh, making some like connectors. I'll show you what it's for. There's the engine and the chassis. We need to make a mount for the gearbox from there to pick up on there. It's going across there to the other side that the gearbox will sit on. But it needs to be removable because to take the engine out of the truck, if we have to do that, the gear lever is in the way we would, wouldn't be able to pull the engine out so we need to be able to drop the engine down at the back with the gearbox so that we can then get the gear lever out of the cab and it come out so this brace it's like strengthening for the chassis at the front as well but it's also the mount for the gearbox so it needs to be removable 
and then there's another brace going to go across there for, um, sorry there for the prop shaft centre bearing as well but that one doesn't need to be removable but this one does so he's just making some connectors so that it'll bolt in and out and still look like a tube so it'll all look like like one piece but it won't be it'll be be removable so that's what he's doing at the minute so we've got a barbecue going just lit the coals getting that warmed up Coops is in uh, in this container preparing vegetables on a race car <laughs> because that's how we're rolling it mate yeah. so underneath that cover there's a like a Lamar kind of car how your booster engine it I think and uh, on top of it we are slicing uh, big onions and then over here we've got the camera set out there doing a time lapse he's John say hello John hello <laughs> So this is coming to bits pretty quick really. So obviously like looking at it like this, it's easy to see how it's possible to skin the full car, you know, because the whole skin literally just unbolts off. Oh, look at that. And then we've got Bowser here. New show, new engine burger. Nom, 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 nom. See, this is what garage life should be about, you know. Building cars, eating burgers, Dawson with your dog. Maple Bee. So what Jonathan's doing here is, is 3D scanning the door handle off this Sierra because these are the handles that we need for the car to build the RS. It's designed to have these door handles. So it just so happens there's a Sierra in the garage at the minute so we're scanning the handle so that we can get the exact shapes of it so that we can then 3d print a handle rather than use a, an old sierra handle so that's that's what we're doing here just getting a scan of the the image you can see on the screen there what it's picking up and that gives a, a full um, measurement scale wise everything of the handle and then jonathan will be literally be able to use that file that he's got to then um 3D print a replica of the handle. So that's what he's doing there. And then we're gonna 3D scan the body of the, the RS to work out. We don't really need to scan the, I think we're just scanning that so that we've got it. We need to work out the brackets. Yeah, it's, we, we need to work out the brackets. So we're gonna scan the kit and we're gonna scan the MR2 now that it's a, a skeleton and then Jonathan can build everything on the on the kit. So that's the handle. That's the top of the handle. Yeah. So I'm just putting some white spray on the inside of the the kit because the 3D scanner's not picking up the fiberglass on the inside. It can see like a, a white surface easier, especially if the surface is reflective. It's picking up this stuff, but it's not picking up the fiberglass. It picked it up on the other side because that's that's white. So it'll scan easier when we've when this is white. Now once we've got the scan, Jonathan will be able to assemble all these separate parts together on the computer in the CAD uh, software and put the car back together, put a set of wheels on it, move them about until everything fits. And then from that, you could actually 3D print a model of the car. We don't know what we're gonna do with these scans yet apart from the main purpose is to work out the brackets and the hinges and frameworks that we've got to make for it because we don't just want to make them we want to make a plan of them so that other people who are building these kits can you know easily know how to, how to, how to make them as well the sizes and everything it'll all be planned out for them so hopefully by doing this it'll help other people that are building mr2 kits well rs200 mr2 kits in the future Right, so, well, this is as far as we've got today. Well, it's not, we've done a load of other stuff as well, but we've stripped, stripped off all the panels and uh, we've 3D scanned all the parts of the, the RS kit. Um, 
all the panels are off the MR2 now. And we've just laid these on here just so you can sort of, you know, get a bit of a visual of how it's gonna, how it's gonna look. Obviously it looks a bit crazy at the minute, but it's nearly finished. No, it's not nearly finished. There's a lot to do, but nice to be able to visualize it. We haven't got anything done with the Datsun today. It's just all been about this. Uh, but yeah, we're getting through it, doing some laser, laser engraving as well at the same time. So we are multitasking, but um, yeah, obviously there's a lot to sort, but this just gives us an idea of how this is going to sit on. One of the things we've realized is we've got to cut the back of the doors off. I knew about having to cut the bottom of the door off, but we've got to cut the back of this door off as well. So, like I say, there's no instructions with it, so we're going to try and create some sort of uh, uh, instruction manual on how to fit this kit to an MR2 as well. But for now, that's as far as we've got anyway. So we are going to be working on this now until it's done. So the next video is probably going to be this, not the Datsun unless I actually do a podcast or something. If you want to keep up with what's going on and see this build finished, then uh, click the buttons, um, you know what to do. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.